Hey guys, it's Grace and today I'm going to be doing a review of a show. So over my spring break, I went and I saw two different shows and uh, this is the first review and then in a little bit I'll post another review of the other show. But the first show that I saw was Be More Chill. As you can see, I've updated my lovely playbills here. Um, there's more if you go further up, but then you can see me in the frame. So I'm going to be doing a review of Be More Chill. Um, there's maybe going to be spoilers. If there are, I'll warn you beforehand. But yeah, I'm just going to be talking about what I thought when I saw it and all that good stuff. So for those of you who don't know, Be More Chill is a new Broadway musical, and when I saw it, it was March 13th, I believe, so a little over a week ago, and it was in the third day of actually doing shows, so it had just come out of previews the week beforehand, and that was the first day they had done two shows in a day. So I saw the night performance and I saw it with my best friend and we were very, very excited to be seeing it. So I had not heard any of the music other than Michael in the Bathroom before I saw the show. And I didn't really know the story. Um, I kind of knew a brief synopsis from what my boyfriend knew because he knows the show. But other than that, I did not know anything and I didn't want to know because I, you know, sometimes I like to see shows that I don't really know and that I can just listen and be in the moment and not know the ending of them and experience them as I go. Um, so that was really great and yeah, I ended up seeing going to stage door afterwards, which was my first time ever being at stage door, which is weird because I've been to a decent amount of Broadway shows, but I've never done stage door. Um, my mom's the type of person who's like, we're gonna leave right after the show, so you gotta get out of there. And then the other times that I've seen shows in Broadway, it's been with um, NSLC, which is the place that I work at over the summer. So we can't really like stop and go to stage door, and we also encourage the students to not do so. So it would be bad if I did that and they weren't allowed to, like, that just doesn't make any sense. Disclaimer, I'm not a theater expert. I'm just an enjoyer of theater. So I, I am not an expert on these things. This is just my opinion. Anyways, I hope that would go without saying. Um, so the show itself is basically about teenagers and their life in high school and how they're dealing with things. And the main character is kind of this nerdy boy who you know, doesn't really fit in, but he does have a friend whose name is Michael and they both play video games and hang out, but they're really like nerdy and not popular and uh, don't really fit in in school. And so he decides that he's going to start play rehearsal with this girl that he likes. And yeah, things escalate from there. There's artificial intelligence, there's people taking drugs and turning basically into robots, like, it's pretty wild. I'm not really gonna like go into the details of the show because I don't really want to spoil anything. I will talk about what I thought. Having heard Michael in the bathroom, I really, really liked the music from that and I loved that song personally, both like the lyrics and also just like the feel and the beat of it. Um, but the show as a whole, you know, the music is like pretty similar to that. I thought it was great. Um, I thought that the set design was incredible. Their use of projections was insane. Um, they used um, portals, which like basically are a frame of the stage to change scenes. So there was like a giant portal in the back and that had all of the set pieces already set on it for the most part for most of the scenes. And that's where they played a lot of the 
scenes was like back there or some things would fly by, but it was a really great use of space and also of technology. So that was really great. Set design was great. The lighting was also really, really cool. Um, they had a lot of things that lit up. It looks very similar to a video game. A lot of the lighting, a lot of the design, that kind of stuff. That was really awesome. So that was great to have the technical aspects be really good and usually when you're going to see a Broadway show the technical aspects of it are really good and on point um, but the music was also great loved the music it was like real upbeat um, I wouldn't say that it was like anything super new and innovative like it was kind of a little bit cookie cutter with the style of the music um, just because like it's kind of stuff that you've already heard before or may have heard before in other musicals similar to that but it was it was a little bit different it wasn't like the same as um, other musicals but it, it just felt kind of just a little bit cookie cutter to me but I also could change my mind if I listened to the soundtrack more I think it's just because it was the first time I was listening to it as well that it kind of like sounded a little bit like other stuff but it was still really great music an issue that I have with a lot of musicals is that the production value is really high but there isn't really a lot of depth or breadth to the storyline and to the characters and all that kind of stuff. I had that issue with uh, The Great Comet of 1812. Great production value, incredible set, incredible lighting, music was like good to bop to, but there was no storyline that I could follow and I really didn't care about the characters. And that's something that I think is really important in musicals um, and theater in general because, you know, it's not just about the production value or it shouldn't be about the production value and making money. And I feel like B. Marshall did a really great job of having a good storyline and great technical aspects. So they had, you know, I just said they had great set, great lighting, whatever, but they also had a really interesting and new storyline that hasn't been seen before and was easy to follow, easy to understand, and I related to the characters incredibly well. The characters were all very real and especially like being about high school, a lot of times there can be a lot of stereotypical um, things that happen with characters and although I feel like that was included it wasn't all, every part of the character if that makes sense. Another great thing that they did with um, their cast specifically was that it was incredibly diverse. There was um, a girl who played Christine was Asian I believe and there was an African-American woman in there who was curvier. There were bigger people, there were smaller people, there were taller people, there were small skinnier people. Like there were so many diverse cast members in the cast and I think that's just incredible because with a show like this like it's not about race it's not about anything like that so why wouldn't you have a ethnically ambiguous cast and be able to cast anyone who is fitting and deserving of that role I think that's an issue that we have with Broadway, um, especially with shows that are not specifically about race. Like, you're not gonna cast the color purple with white people, and you're not gonna cast a role that is specifically a role that an African American person needs to play because that's how the themes of the play work for a white person. But when you have a show like this where it doesn't really matter what race these characters are, I think it's great that they are finally able to cast diversely because that wouldn't have happened even 10 years ago. Another thing that I will say about the cast is that in Broadway shows as well, sometimes I feel like the ensemble can be weaker um, than the lead roles. That happens, um, my friend saw Anastasia and she talked about how the leads were incredible, like that part was really good, but the ensemble was really weak and was not up to par. In this show, the ensemble was incredible. They were all 
insane singers, insane. And they were all really good dancers, even if, I don't know if they had dance experience before, but if they didn't, they were dancing great. And they were all really great actors. So that is also another thing that I thought was very important to have. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is the dance. So whoever choreographed this show, ugh, ugh, so, so, so good. It was like a different style of dance. It kind of mixed like the classical musical theater jazzy that you have and then kind of more sharp like hip hop movements, which I loved. It was all really good. It wasn't necessarily like super hard and like, wow, look at me kick my leg up to my head, but it fit the show. It fit the vibe of the music and it still was very like together. Everyone was doing it at the same time. It was very well coordinated and I felt like it was fitting to the show as a whole. Overall, I really enjoyed this show. I had a great time. It was really fun. I thought it was all around really great and there weren't really any like snafus, things that went wrong, anything like that um, in the show, which is crazy for it only having been running for a couple of days officially when I saw it. Um, so I thought that was really great and I thought they did an excellent job. I think I've said everything that I want to say. Um, if you guys have seen this show or are looking to see this show, if you've seen it, comment down below. Let me know what you thought or if you have heard the music or seen any of like the promos or anything like that. Tell me what you're thinking about it. 10 out of 10 would recommend going. Really, really great. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. If you'd like to, you can check out my previous video on this side of the screen and my previous vlog on that side of the screen. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.